been, he served as an international evangelist at the Church of God in Christ for the past 16 years. He's preached in the International Holy Convocation under the leadership of Bishop Charles E. Blake. His book entitled, is entitled Victory in the Vision. Uh, he is uh, married to Latoya. They reside in Atlanta, three children. Uh, Shane Jr., two twin daughters, Autumn and L Lauren. And we have him with us today. This is a young man that I have uh, paid attention to for the last couple of years. Highly anointed. And I'm not going to hold him back any longer. I'm going to release the anointing of evangelist Shane Perry. Somebody put your hands together. Give God's name prayer. Well, come on, put your hands together. Let's give the Lord a praise. Grab your neighbor's hand for just a moment. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for your presence that is obviously in this place. Thank you, God, that even as we were praising and going forth, miracles were taking place, situations were turning around. What man said was impossible, you're making it abundantly clear that it's ours. God, I thank you that what the haters said we couldn't do. You're going to bring it to pass this year. In the name of Jesus, touching our families, finances, touch everything that's connected to us. And when we leave this place, let it be said that we won't leave the same way we came. Thank you for this great man of God and his impact on this city, this community, and on the world. Continue to bless him, Lord, and his family. Bless every person that's a member of this church. And Lord, I can't preach without you. I need your anointing today, God. I don't have the gift, the capacity to do anything without your presence. Let your anointing destroy every yoke, lift every burden, and turn everything around. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now release that hand one more time. Put your hands together and let's give the Lord some praise. While you're standing, let's celebrate the greatest preacher you know, your pastor, your leader, your bishop, Bishop Glenn Staples. Come on, let's give God a praise for him. To this tremendous staff and cadre of preachers, let's bless the Lord for them. Amen. And clap your hands at your neighbor and say, neighbor, thank God for you. Now do me a favor, tell them I didn't come to play today. I come to get it. I refuse to leave without it. And I'm subject to act like I lost my mind because I feel a release in here. Now, if you believe today is your day, clap your hands, open up your mouth, and let's give God some praise in here. Now, y'all sit down quick because if you start shouting, I'll never preach. I already I know where I am. I go to so many churches and they have tabernacle of praise and church of praise and ministry of praise and i get there and i feel like i'm in a funeral but this is a praise in church for real and i feel at home today come on high five somebody and tell them say there's victory in the praise there's power in your praise now just one time just one time open up your mouth and shout hallelujah this word clap is the Hebrew word talkala. It means to drive a nail through. Which means the revelation of clapping your hands is not a warm up for preaching. Come on, give the Lord a praise for the preacher. Pity pat, just like that. Thank God for the pastor. Pity pat. Because you don't know what you're doing. The revelation of the text is this. Every time you clap your hands, you drive a nail through the plans of the enemy. So the next time somebody says, give God a hand clap of praise for your children, you better know what you're doing. I'm driving a nail through the plans that the enemy has set up to take my babies out. Oh, God. 
The next time somebody says, give God a praise for the offering, you got to know what you're doing. I'm driving a nail through back debt. I'm driving a nail through student loans. I'm driving a nail through financial poverty. Why? Because there's power in the palm of my hand. The next time somebody says, give God a praise for your leader, you better know what you're doing. I'm driving a nail. I'm literally driving demons off of the man of God. You ought to walk out of this church clapping your hands like you lost your mind. You ought to clap to a point that you break every plan of the enemy. That you drive a nail through what the devil has set up in your life. Grab somebody and tell them say neighbor oh neighbor uh, there's power in the palm of my hand uh, when I clap my hands I drive a nail through the plans of the enemy come on high five somebody with that powerful hand and tell them say neighbor uh, I just released power into your life uh, I got the clothes here y'all uh, but the Bible said oh clap your hands uh, all ye people uh, shout unto God uh, with the voice of triumph uh, as I get ready to take my seat uh, not only should you clap your way out uh, but you have the power in your voice uh, to shout your way out uh, you've got power uh, down in your throat uh, this word voice is the Hebrew word uh, that literally means uh, oh Lord <laughs> that when you shout you shout victory in your life uh, it means to have a trumpet down in your throat uh, now the bible said once every 50 years uh, they had something called the year of release uh, it was known as the feast of trumpets uh, at the beginning of the season uh, they would pull out the shofar uh, they would blow the trumpet in zion uh, that would symbolize that for the, this past 50 years uh, i'm being released from everything uh, that had me bound. Uh, well, I just stopped by to tell somebody today uh, you don't have to wait 50 years uh, to get your deliverance. Uh, you don't have to wait 50 years uh, to get your breakthrough. Uh, but you've got power. Uh, oh power uh, down in your throat. Uh, you ought to clap your hands. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and shout. Uh, shout. Uh, yeah. Now I got the clothes here, y'all. Uh, but the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said uh, that two things would happen. Uh, tell them to play under me now. Uh, two things would happen uh, during the year of release. Uh, when you blow the trumpet in Zion, uh, the first thing that happens uh, is all of your children uh, that were bound up in slavery uh, had to be released. Uh, come to tell y'all today uh, that no matter where your children are uh, whatever the devil has bound them in uh, you've got power uh, in your hand uh, you've got power uh, in your throat uh, to cause your children uh, to be delivered uh, you want to think about your son uh, you want to think about your daughter uh, you want to think about your family uh, clap your hands uh, I feel like going a little bit higher uh, clap your hands uh, and tell the devil uh, I got the victory uh, in my home uh, I got the victory uh, in my family uh, if you believe it shout it yeah shout it yeah shout it yeah I got to close here, y'all. But the last thing that would happen, all of the debt that you had incurred over the past 50 years had to be released. I come to tell somebody today, you've got the power in your hand. You've got the power in your throat to cause every house note, every car payment, every student loan, every credit card debt to be released you got power yeah. lean lean on your neighbor and tell your neighbor for the next 10 seconds I'm getting ready to clap my hands and holler to God cause I feel my release there's power in my hand there's power in my throat, uh, and I'm getting ready to praise it uh, right now. Uh, 
clap your hands, open up your mouth, and give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Now listen, I got to close y'all, but I need about 20 praises that don't mind giving God a dance. Because I heard the Bible say, you can give God a prophetic praise. What does this mean? Mark 11 and 24, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. That means that when I get done praying, my next move uh, is to give God a praise uh, like I believe uh, the prayer I just prayed uh, is already done. Uh, slap somebody a high five uh, and tell them neighbor, uh, the house is yours. Uh, the job is yours. Uh, your family will be saved. Uh, you're already healed. Uh, you're already delivered. Uh, you're already free. Uh, now all you got to do uh, is give God a dance uh, like you already got it. Uh, Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Now throw up your hands and shout, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Shouty, yeah. Why am I saying yes? I'm saying yes to my breakthrough. Yes to my miracle. Yes to my turnaround. Yes to my healing. Yes to my money. Yes to my change. Yes to my family being delivered in 2012. Now if you believe you got it, clap your hands. Open up your mouth and shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Y'all still pity patting, all right. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, there's power in my hand. And when I lay my hand on you, God's about to turn it around. Lay your hand on your neighbor and shout in the name of Jesus. God is turning it around right now. Shout it, shout it. Listen, I'm done, y'all. But I just need about 20 people that are from the tribe of Judah. And where are my Judites at? Oh, my, I see some praises over here. Where, where are my Judites at? I just need about 20 Judites that know there's power in your dance. I mean, I need some real dancers. And when we get done dancing, God's about to turn uh, every situation around. Uh, God's about to work some things out uh, that man said would never happen. Uh, on the count of three, uh, I need my Judites uh, to give God a dance uh, like a lost your mind. Uh, one, two, three. Come on, give him praise. Come on, praise him. He's worthy. Now lift.
Lift up your hands and shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Now listen, forget about your neighbor. Lay hands on yourself and say, Sam, it's already done. And I'm about to shout like I got it. Uh, dance like I got it. Uh, holler like I got it. Uh, shout.